okay, if people have wondered why I'm not online today, why I haven't been on, why I didn't do the wisdom of the day today, <laughs> uh, I feel like I'll wrung out dish mop and today, I'm telling you, a wrung out dish rag, whichever you want to say, a mop, a wrung out mop, or a wrung out dish rag, I have no strength today. <laughs> I started my the supplements today. Well, not today. This is my fourth day. I'm doing the ancestral, the ancestral ones, grass-fed. These are grass-fed, made from grass-fed New Zealand beef supplement. And uh, I'm building them up rather quickly in my system. This is day... Uh, this is day four, and I'm up to four pills per day. You build up to six. And some people will stay on one for like a week and then do a second. Well, I'm building it up, you know, by one extra pill per day, getting all the toxic burn off right away. So I'm like, <laughs> today. And then on top of it, I got back my thing from my hair sample. I did one of those things where they test you for things that are in inflammation uh, making in your body. And of course, you know, things that are okay for other people are not okay for me. And so I'm eating like 99% uh, of the wrong things. <laughs> it was like, really? <laughs> No this, no that, no this, no that, you know. So anyway, I went to the store today and changed that. So I'm going to try this and cut out the things that they said and see if that cuts down the inflammation. So I am changed my diet and the supplements all at the same time. So I'm getting a double whammy. Oh, whew. I tell you, but we'll see. Yeah, you know, I've been getting more and more pain in my hands daily, so I'm hoping that this actually does cut down the inflammation. Then I said, well, I'm just going to do the ancestral thing first, the, my beef supplements, and do the dietary thing, see if it's cutting down the inflammation, and then once I see if that's working or not, then I'll go in and, and uh, again, uh, take the time to uh, make this into the keto diet, a keto diet. But right now, <laughs> I'm not doing the keto and the supplements anyway. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy a couple things that I really took out of my diet now that I can put them back and see how it works. So, you know... I found out for me, you know, one of the things I've done is, is they say, you know, uh, especially for the keto and no carbs and none of this. And then, but then um, what I was using, I found these cauliflower things that you use instead of bread. Well, one of my things that came back on, of course, the list that you're not supposed to have at all is cauliflower. <laughs> so. Why don't I just take a big heaping thing of poison with me, you know? <laughs> so the things that, you know, I got rid of because I thought, you know, they're bad for me turned out to be the things I should be eating and the things that I put in that I've been eating a lot more, I found out I'm not supposed to have. I'm not supposed to have paprika. <laughs> and I've been cooking with a lot of paprika. <laughs> No paprika, no cauliflower, no gluten, no wheat, um, whole grain wheat, none of that. But I was surprised I can have rice, even white rice, which is, you know, of course, something I cut out. <laughs> I can have potatoes, and that, of course, that's what I cut out. <laughs> I'm like, really? You know? <laughs> so I decided, well, you know what? 
I'm just going to enjoy some of the things that I cut out and we'll see how this goes with the inflammation and then if I find out if that's working the inflammation part is working I should know in a couple weeks if it's getting better then at that point then I'll worry about the weight loss thing and I'll change it up to a keto uh, keto diet so I can lose because that's one way I do lose weight is on the keto nothing else works for me but I'm going to see if in fact this does work because this is supposed to uh, show you what is inflammatory for your body and what will uh, what you have allergies to so it can affect you can gain weight with it get bloating and all these other things so I went ahead and did that to to see and again, you know, when you get it back, you're like, yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah, I found out for sure, you know, no white sugar. White sugar is really bad for me, white sugar. Jasmine tea, no jasmine tea. Um, no. <laughs> Rice things are okay potato things are okay um so yeah it oh no soy sauce and i cook a, with a lot of soy sauce and lemon no lemon lemon and soy sauce are on things that are not great for me so again um eliminating a lot of stuff and just you know switching things around um so we'll see if it works. If it works, I'll let you know uh, what it is. Um, but for now, I'm going to get off of here and take a little nap for a few minutes. Because today I would, got up this morning and I was running like crazy all day. And finally got back. Thank God one thing I can have is my coffee. <laughs> I'm not giving up my coffee. <laughs> no hard cheeses. And, of course, that's what I've had. It says no cheddar cheese, no, no like, hard cheeses, like Parmesan, of course. <laughs> Thank God tomatoes way down on the list. But it's something just to be aware of, you know, um, that could be a problem later. Um, but for now, it's fine. So um, I was like, really? Can't win, I tell you. Um, so we'll see how this goes, uh, and I'll let you know. If, uh, if it starts getting rid of this inflammation, that will be perfect. So... This is day one of the dietary change and day four of the supplement. So again, hopefully tomorrow I'll be back online, maybe later this evening if somebody's got something they want to see red on. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to say <laughs> I'm taking a break. I'm going to lay down take a little nap for a few minutes and uh, see how see how I go with that so thanks for tuning in everyone I will see you online there goes my barking doorbell oh.